that that's what's happening. The world is becoming a global village, and when one country sneezes, the rest of the country gets sick. The rest of the world, the rest of the planet gets sick. This is actually talked about in the book, The End of the Nation State, by a guy named Kenichi Ome, who's a dean of, a former dean of the UCLA School of Public Affairs. Dr. Ome makes the case that countries are dinosaurs. He says, dinosaurs waiting to die. That's his quote. Countries are dinosaurs waiting to die. And he says that not only have nation states lost their ability to control currency and control exchange rates, but they lost their ability to independently control their economies, their economic activity. We're facing that right now. We're confronting it right now. It's a worldwide recession. The interrelationship between China and Germany and the United States, it's all, the whole world is becoming one unified economic entity, and it's really driven by transnational, multinational corporations. The globalists, as they say. And they don't have any national allegiances. And again, I'm not making saying this is a good thing or bad thing. I'm not making a judgment here. I'm just saying this is a fact. Scientists tell us that we live in a holographic world and that all the parts are connected in the world. There's, if you Google holographic universe, you're going to get 700,000, you get more, 780,000 hits. According to uh, Dr. Carl Primrum, who's one of the most influential brain scientists of modern times, he actually won a Nobel Prize for showing that the brain is a hologram, that all its parts are interconnected, that it's impossible to just have one part of the brain. Brain scientists are blown away by all the different parts of the brain. They're trying to figure out where memories are. I was just reading today on Drudge Report how they just discovered how the brain is capable of storing way more memories than they thought. That's because it's a hologram. It's all interconnected. Holographic technology allows for information storage in a way that nothing, no other process can do. Uh, David Bohm, Nobel Prize winning physicist, says every particle in the universe is connected. There's no separation anywhere. Why should the body be different if the, if the universe isn't? This is the reality that we really truly live in. It's a, a holographic world. Everything's connected. The most brilliant minds on the planet tell us this. Not your doctor. But the most brilliant minds on the planet, David Bohm, Carl Pribram. But we still live in this primitive 19th century world of medicine where drugging the body, poisoning components of the body, removing structures is somehow considered a way to get healthy. And then we're surprised we end up with side effects. Yesterday we talked about an ultimate example of how we ignore the idea of interconnection in the body with this new class of drugs, SGLT inhibitors, kidney poisoners, I call them. Kidney poisoners, yes, they inhibit parts of the kidney, but inhibit means poison. Inhibit means poison. Just remember that. If you hear inhibitor, you got a poison. If you hear suppressor, you got a poison. By definition. So you got this new class of drugs, Invocana, Farsigia, Far, uh, Farsiga, Jardians. These are a whole new class of drugs, and they lower blood sugar by poisoning the kidney, forcing it to dump out sugar. But the problem is, because everything's interconnected, when you poison the kidney to lower your sugar, you end up opening this entire Pandora's box of problems because the cells in the kidney that are being poisoned to dump out the sugar, they're dumping out, they're, they're also calcium processors, so you lose your calcium. And that creates elevated potassium, and that changes the parathyroid, and that changes vitamin D levels. It's all connected, it's all one piece, it's like the cat in the hat. You read the cat in the hat, comes back. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. 831-844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. Try to call in. Well, try to call in now so we don't have to leave you on hold. We're talking about this idea of everything being connected. If you read The Cat in the Hat, comes back, this great philosopher, Dr. Seuss, brilliant philosopher, wrote a book, The Cat in the Hat comes back. I'm sure some of you, most of you probably have read it. Sally, the girl, is and her little brother are home, and the cat comes over, and he makes a big mess in the tub, and he says, don't worry about it, because I got little cat A, and little cat A is going to get rid of the mess in the tub. But, of course, little cat A doesn't get rid of the mess. He just moves the mess to the front lawn, and then little cat B comes, and little cat B is supposed to get rid of the mess, and he just make, spreads the mess more, and little cat C, D, E, F, they keep trying to take care of the problem, but they make the problem worse. They fix one problem, but the problem gets bigger somewhere else. That's the medical model. We fix one problem, we got other problems in other places. 
And then we got things to fix those problems, and that gives us more problems. There's drugs for our side effects, and then there's drugs for the, for the drugs for our side effects, and on and on and on it goes. It's good. You can't treat the body this way. It's like, but, you know, that's the bad news, though. The good news is, is by doing just a couple of things, just a couple of things, because it's interconnected, you can leverage the interconnection. You can take advantage of the interconnection by just working on your digestive system, by just fasting. That's why fasting is so powerful. I'm telling you guys, I'm seeing it now already happening. More and more science is understanding the power of fasting. More and more, you're going to see it. I'm telling you, it's been around now the, the, from a scientific level, knowing about fasting and caloric restriction, restricting calories. From a scientific base, we've known about it as an old wives' tale or anecdotally throughout history. It's, been, it's part of folk medicine because it works. But from a scientific perspective, we are learning more and more about the importance of caloric restriction and intermittent fasting. And I'm telling you, you're going to see it as part of mainstream, a conventional way of taking care of the body. And what's great about that is we can do it ourselves. And it's cheap. It's free. It'll make us money. You'll save money. And the reason it works for so many different things is because the body's interconnected. The reason why lowering blood sugar works for so many different things is because the body is interconnected. It's because the body is interconnected that you can leverage all these wonderful strategies that we talk about here on this program. Socrates in New Hampshire. What's up, man? 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. What's going on, Socrates? Hey, Ben. I'm the, I'm the guy that um, was going out on your show and gave you that reminder of your Kmart story and where, right. where you first job. But um, you. I, need, I need your help at the moment. I'm, I've, I haven't gotten sick in a very long time, thanks to in part to your advice. But I, I, I am now getting clearly getting sick. I have a scratchy throat. I'm starting to feel nauseous. And I wanted to know what's my that's best a great question. That it before it comes on. Yeah. Oh, that's a great question, man. First of all, the time to catch a cold or to, to, not to catch a cold, but to stop a cold is right when you start to feel it. And if you're paying attention, when you catch a cold, you'll notice that there's a couple, maybe like a half hour or an hour where you're just feeling sluggish, where you're, you're feeling sticky, kind of, yeah. just slow. You can almost feel it coming if you're paying attention. You know what I'm talking about, Socrates? You I al- do. You can almost feel it coming, and that's when you want to catch it. If you catch it, if you uh, can uh, address the problem, right at that point, you're not going to get sick. Now, if the, if the machinery of sickness, the machinery of the cold, the chemical machinery of the cold kicks in, it's going to take a little bit longer, but you could still do a lot of things. But the trick is to catch it right at that little point or to, to address it right at that point where you're starting to feel a little sticky. And here's what you want to do. First thing, you want to drink copious amounts of water and beyond tangy tangerine t- together. Now, the water will help flush things out. It will help flush out toxicity. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine will give you high doses of nutrients that will help support the immune system, especially vitamin C. Personally, mm-hmm. I would take even extra vitamin C. You'll get about a gram of vitamin C per, uh, per two scoops on the BTT, but you may not be getting two scoops of, of the BTT, in which case you're not going to get enough vitamin C. Personally, I'd be taking four or five grams of vitamin C spread out throughout the day. You'll get crampy if you take it uh, all at once. Uh, and then also, and then also zinc, 50 milligrams of zinc. If you're not already on it, make absolutely sure you're using 50 milligrams of zinc. Zinc is one of those you don't want to take too much of, though. A lot of folks, you know, with a lot of some nutrients, you can take more and you'll get better effects. Zinc is a tricky one, in that if you take more than say maybe 60, maybe 70 or 100 milligrams a day, you'll start to get some, some, a little bit of skin issues and, and you'll start to get some, actually some of the signs of zinc deficiency are similar to some of the signs of zinc excess. So keep it at 50 milligrams a day of zinc. And then uh, in addition to the water and the vitamin C and the zinc, one of the most important, if not the most important strategy, is to get 12 hours of sleep if you can. And, yep. and I'm, not talking about, I'm not talking about laying in bed relaxing. I'm talking about sleep. The body heals when it's sleeping. That's why sleep is so important, and that's why insomnia is such a problem. The body heals and regenerates while you sleep. So if you can get 12 hours of sleep, even if you have to, in my opinion, this is just my opinion now, even if you have to take a Benadryl to do it, okay? That'll, okay. It's not the best sleep in the world, but at least it's, it's enough sleep that you're going to feel, feel healed after 12 hours or 10 hours, a lot of sleep. And then... Um, 
Also, a rebounder. Jump up and down on a rebounder. Or do some kind of exercise if you can. Uh, move your circulation. It's very important to move the lymphatic system in the blood. And we're going to talk about the lymph here next week. Um, to move the circulatory system, the lymph and the blood, uh, uh, when, that, when you're feeling that sticky. A cold is a sign of stickiness and coagulation and clotting and, and closing up. It's kind of like a potato bug. You ever see those little potato bugs when you poke them, they curl up? That's kind of what the body happens to the body when, when you have a cold. And you can feel it. If you're paying attention to your body, you can actually feel that contraction. So you want to you want to go into expansion from contraction. You want to expand the body. Of course, deep breathing is another great strategy. And I guarantee you, Socrates, if you catch it, at the, uh, if you address it right when you feel it coming on, you will not get the cold. And it sounds like you may, that might be the point you're at now. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. You know, it sounds like you're psychic because this did come on specifically because I had insomnia, and that's the that's the precipice when I felt it coming on. That's so, exactly what'll yeah. happen. That's why the sleep's so important. It's so important. Thanks so much, man. All right, buddy. Be good. Thanks, Socrates. Thanks. All right, let's move on to to, to to Carl. Is this my friend Carl, the Truth Raider? Carl, the Truth Raider. Good What's up, Carl? morning, Benjamin. You know it is. How you doing, brother? <laughs> hey, I think I put a bug in Doc Wallach's ear. Yeah, I talked to when him. I, when I talked to him the past couple of months, of course, about my my sweet little pet. Oh, kitty your kitty. Yes. Yeah. I had the How the, the Mighty 90 helped the cat. Yes. I th- I've been noticing recently Doc Wallach has been putting commercials about the Mighty 90 for your animal, for your pet. Well, what do you think? What's Doc's background? Do you know? <laughs> What's that? What is Doc's background? Well, he's We're, a veterinarian. He's a vet. <laughs> That's how he learned all this stuff. He noticed that in the farm, and he's a farm boy too, and he noticed that on the farm they were they would always make sure that the animals had nutrition, that, that the animals were supplementing. They used salt licks, they called them. Yeah. And he noticed that the animals are getting fed better than the people. Do you yeah. know Dr. Wallach actually started eating, <laughs> this is funny and kind of gross, but he started eating rabbit pellets for breakfast. <laughs> I, know, crunchy, crunchy, that. I couldn't believe he said that, but that's crunchy, true. Crunchy. <laughs> he, would, he would do. Ra- he said his mother was horrified. <laughs> that's pretty good. He put yeah, rabbit out. <laughs> anyway, I, I all right, got a question. Carl, hang on. I got to take a break. Okay. okay. All right. I got a question. All right. Okay. All right. I'm Farmer Suspend. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. You're listening to the bright side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're coming back with more good health information and your phone calls. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm going to go real fast here. Got a bunch of calls I want to get to. Truth Raider, real quick, my man. What's cooking? How, yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, question about Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Yes, sir. I'm 51 years old now, and of course I've had a poor diet probably the first. 25, 30 years or so of my life. But you so still look catch- great, Carl, the Truth Raider. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm, I'm catching up, I guess. <laughs> Getting a lot of sleep, but that also helps to make up for it. But the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, does that help at a certain amount to take over a period of time? Does that help to loosen and reverse atherosclerosis in the Heck process of removing the plaque? Heck your- yes. Okay. Heck yes. Heck okay. yes. Absolutely, for several reasons. First of all, there's, there's uh, nutrients in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine that will attract minerals, the chelating agents, chelating minerals, I should say. And then secondly, you're going to strengthen the, your, uh, the wall. You're going to strengthen the artery wall so you'll have a stronger, you won't have a, a need to patch up the wall. That's one of the reasons why you get these plaques forming. It's they're like Band-Aids in the arterial and the, in the circulatory vessel wall. And then, of course, you're going to keep your cells healthy so you won't be leaking out minerals too. So on multiple levels, absolutely. Absolutely, you can do that. Okay. But there's other things, too, you want to do. Food is always the first thing to think about. Carl, i got to motivate my friend. Right. Thank All you, right. buddy. All Thank right, you. Take care, man. All right, let's go to, uh, let us move on to Jim in Michigan. What's up, Jim? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. How you doing? I'm good, but turn your radio down. we got an echo. It's going to drive me nuts. Oh, okay. I uh, just say I, I'm on speakerphone, so here we go. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Can you get me off speaker? Yep. Uh, how's that? Okay, that's better. What's going on, my man? Well, I have a friend who has rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, could you tell me how we could reverse it? On yes, I will tell you. You can reverse it almost immediately by fasting, but you obviously have to eat. But just to show him how powerful, how powerful the connection between autoimmunity and the digestive system is. Next thing you want to do is start to support digestive health. Enzymes, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes of all meals, apple cider vinegar, nightly essence, fermented foods, fiber, grinding up vegetable juices, uh, eliminating any problem foods, inflammatory foods, things like sugar and refined flour and fried fats, uh, fried oils, 
um, more coconut oil and ultimate EFAs, which are powerfully anti-inflammatory, and then building the joints, the connective tissue, the cartilage, by using things like bone soup. If 